see what you did to Emeka. <laughs> That's um, stuff that came out now. The results. Hey, I had giving things to him. <laughs> Does he know it? That guy is a fish head. Fish head. Just fish brain. Bring people around. Doesn't know anything. All he does is wear pink. I'm not really sure about those last two things. Sure. Sure. Wow, I'm so excited. We finally finished secondary school now. And I can't wait to get into the university. <laughs> Why are you saying in a hurry to get to the university? My dear, one step at a time. Two. Life of a small girl is finally over for us now. And I can't wait to get into the university. That's my main thing right now. Why are you quiet? Why do you always switch off whenever the word university is mentioned? Don't you want to go to the university? What's bothering you? Amara. <laughs> My parents said they would not send me to the university. I am to start learning fashion designing once I'm done with secondary school. Then what are you doing about this? Have you put your foot down that you can't take this nonsense? What have you done? I have tried my best to convince them. And they've been adamant about it. I don't know. I have cried my eyes out. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't. Okay, but have you even tried contacting your uncles or relatives to let them know what's happening at least? Maybe they can do something about it. Help or something. <laughs> see this one. It's like you, you don't even understand what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm going through. Eh? Can you believe I've not met my relatives before? I've not seen them before. The funniest part is that I see Emeka and Richard visit them. And anytime I talk to my parents that I want to see them, they will tell me that I don't need to visit them, that they are evil. But something has to be done. You can't, you can't just sit there and say you can't do anything about it. Really? So what do you want me to do? You want me to beat them? No, no. You just have to do something. Okay, you want to go and destroy clothes. <laughs> Mm. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Jideka. How are you? Fine, ma. And uh, how were your papers? Very fine. Mm. You're welcome. Thank you, ma. Mm. Uh, mommy, mm. there is something I would like to discuss with you. What is it? Please, I want you to convince Daddy to send me to the university. Must we always go on with the same issue? Huh? Your father wants you to be a fashion designer, which I believe is more better than any skill a graduate can do. I just give it a try. But all my friends will go to the university, and I am better than all of them. Why should I be left out? For you now compete with your friends. Hmm? And you believe that their parents know more than your parents, right? Let me tell you. If you ever come to me with this kind of conversation again, eh? I will break your neck. Pay me one more so. Come, come on, save up one. Sudiman, how was your final paper? That's fine, thank you very much, sir. Daddy, uh -huh. there is something I want to talk to you about. What is it about? Daddy, I don't want to learn how to make clothes. I want to go to the university like my mates. I want to be a lawyer. And your decision for me to become a fashion designer is not good enough for me. Really? So what makes you think it's not good enough for you? Daddy, please. I want to be a lawyer. 
And besides, you sent a mecca and reach out to the university to go study abroad. Why is mine different? Yours is different because they are boys. And because I chose the courses they are studying. My decision for you to be a fashion designer is because you are my only daughter. And I expect you to trust my judgment. Yes. But I don't like it. Plus, your judgments aren't fair. Mm. Daddy, I have worked so hard to, to become the best in my school. And I have dreamt of becoming a lawyer. Daddy, please, you should respect my feelings before making any decisions on my behalf. Eh? Can you imagine? As in... <laughs> can you imagine? Stand up. Sir? I said stand up. Can you imagine? <laughs> Tell me, when did you start growing these wings that I have to consider your feelings before taking my decisions about you? Honey, I have been wondering the same thing. I warned her against it this afternoon, but she bent on listening to her friends. This girl is beginning to get out of hand. Mom, why do you always sound like this? Don't I have the right to demand a better education in my father's house? Oh, eh? Hold it, hold it. Oh. It has gotten so bad that you can now challenge my wife, your mother, in my presence? Hey! Or you want to beat me? It's obvious that your friends have been influencing you. That is it. So from this day forward, no friend is welcomed here anymore. Ah, that is what have I done wrong? And that phone? Give it to me. Bring the phone! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at you. So you want to beat me? What is insolence? Eh? Yeah. I will take permission from her before we decide something good for her. God, why did you give me parents like this? What have I done wrong? I feel like an outsider in my own home. Is this how I must go on? My parents don't care about my feelings for no just cause. I don't have any relatives to call. I don't know who to run to. Nowhere to go. God, if truly you are there, please come to my aid. Please. I need a helper. I don't want to continue crying. Please, God. Help me. Uh -huh. See these ones here? Huh. So you are still washing these little clothes? Eh, what? If you like, sleep here. Oh! Hi, I need to take care. Mama, how did you get in here? The gate man opened the gates. Shh! She bring your voice down. How have you been? I should be asking you. Your phone has been off for three whole weeks. What happened? I do not understand. My daddy seized my phone and he prohibited me from leaving the house as well as receiving visitors. Why? I don't know. Because I asked him I want to go to the university. I thought it was only your mom who hates you. So even your dad doesn't like you. This should be a spiritual case. My dear. Maybe you should see the pastor. My dear, I'm tired. But are you going to wash all of these clothes? You see now, that's the situation I found myself. Who is working? 
So it's even small. Hey. Don't worry. I'm I'm going to help you. You will? Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> What are you doing here? And who let you in? Mom, I came to see my friend. I said, who let you in? Njideka, so you have the infantry to disobey your father, right? Hmm? And invited this one into this place. And you, before I close my eyes and open it, you are out of this place. Get out! You have been able to explain to your father when he returns. Stupid. For how many hours you are still watching this illicit place? Sleep here. You know? Laurella! What did Mama find her? I know. But she has beginning to ask too many questions. And I think it's a matter of time before she will stumble on the truth. <laughs> no. Stumbling on the truth is not something that will be possible. Because there's no one she's going to stumble onto for the truth. And even if she did stumble on the so-called truth, it makes no difference. I still cannot push her away. The only available option is to terminate her. Terminate her? Yes. Hey, no now. No now. We don't want to stain our hands with blood. Eh? It's bad enough we have deprived her of her inheritance. Killing her is pushing it too far. Oh. Have you thought of the scenario? If she actually finds out the truth. Simple. We would have lost all. And I mean everything that we have worked for over the years. You think at this age I'll go back to teaching and wait for pension? Maybe we should give her what she wants so that she can stop rebelling. Or give her what she wants is... Allowing her going to the university, right? Okay. Now, Njideka goes to the university, trains as a lawyer, comes out and fights us in court. What do you think will happen? We would have lost out completely, even our sons. I fear Mama will carry on her threats and come looking for her. And when that happens, all hell will break loose. That's why I said we should terminate her before we get to that bridge. bridge. Stop talking about this killing. Eh? Leave killing for now. Please, I have been thinking. When next time Mama called and wanted to talk to her, we tell her that she has joined her brothers, Emeka and Richard, abroad to further her education. And with that, Mama will stop disturbing us. She won't disturb us again. You know, I worry about you. Um, you're married to a lion, and I expected that you would be as brave as one. Not in a case of killing. Hmm? My hand is not dead there. Please. Okay. Don't just sit down and continue to wait till infinity. <laughs> Sister Mary has briefed me some of the things you are going through. You see, the Bible makes me to understand that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them all from it. I believe there is something evil amiss, but the Lord will reveal it to us as we pray. Amen. The worst part is that I'm beginning to have doubts if truly they are my biological parents. I think I was adopted, maybe because they needed a female child and they are beginning to get tired of the adoption process. <laughs> you see, 
when I prayed for you and I pleaded to God about your plight, the Lord pressed it in my heart to tell you to fast and pray for him so that he can reveal the mystery behind your parents. Okay. I will also join you in this process. As the Lord revealed to me that the battle at hand is not for the faint-hearted. And you must also pray also against the spirit of death. Death? Yes, just as the Lord revealed to me. Ah, Pastor. Pastor, you have to pray for me. I don't want to die. I will certainly will. I will also inform the prayer warriors about your plight. So that they can pray intensively for you. Thank you very much, sir. You see, Sister Judeka, you don't need to worry. The battle is of the Lord. And you will come out triumphantly. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. to ask you something. Okay. What is it about? Mom, I need to know what I did to you and Dad. That makes you disregard my feelings so much. I don't feel like I belong here. Please, Mom. I am tired of crying. Please. I, I need to know why you treat me differently from the way you treat my other brothers? And who told you we treat you differently? Who told you that? Huh? Don't we feed you? Don't we clothe you? Don't we accommodate you? What else do you want that we don't do for you? What? Hmm? No, no, it's not that. So, because you were punished for being naughty, you believe that we don't care about your feelings? Huh? Mm -mm. It's not that. It is what? I want to meet with our relatives. I used to hear you and dad talk about my grandmother on phone. But I've not met her. I know I have uncles and aunties in this town. Because I hear Richard and Emeka talk about them. But you don't allow me to visit any of them. Initially, I used to think because I was younger. But now I'm a grown woman. And yet you don't allow me to see any of them. Please, Mom. I need to feel like I'm part of this family. I need to connect with our relatives. And meet with our uncles. Mom, please, that is all I want. All these requests you are making does not mean because we don't do them for you that we hate you. No! We want the best for you. Eh? Just that you don't want to have the patience to see the love we have for you. Eh? Mom, I was the best in our just release Wayak and Neko results. And still, you and Dad don't want me to go to the university. Mom, please. I don't want to learn any handwork. I want to go to the university. I understand you. I perfectly understand you. But your father doesn't think it is best for you. I believe if you learn tailoring, like your father wants you, you will end up becoming the most renowned fashion designer. No. Your father will not mislead you. I don't want that. Listen to your father. That's not what I want. I want to be a lawyer. That is why I wish to meet with my grandmother or any of our uncles. At least they will help me talk to dad. Maybe he might have a change of plan. It is this your stubbornness that makes it look that we hate you. But we don't hate you. You don't listen to anyone. You don't. Get out. 
Get some people to change my mind towards you. Silly. You know, one year. This girl is getting out of hand. We may not be able to control her anymore very soon. We must act fast. Very fast. Before she sleeps fully out of control. I'm really confused. Sometimes I feel like running away. Have you gotten your thumb back and get that like I told you? Ah, my dear, I have one too. I tried collecting it from him yesterday, but he refused to give it to me. Can you pretend for the way you accepted your offer? You know, and just pretend. Because I think I have a plan. Hey. What's the plan? Well, after you must have successfully gotten your phone back from your dad, you will have to collect your grandmother's number from your dad's contacts. Call her home and tell her everything you did. You know? She's going to call your parents to call her. Because she's going to be overjoyed to hear from you. Huh. That's a smart idea. How come I never thought of that? Because I'm smarter than you. No, be only. I'll be a more mysterious. How can I be mysterious if I'm not smarter? I'm smarter. Ah, anyway, thanks for the plan. See, all I want now is to get my phone back. I don't have other food in your house. What do you think you're doing in the house? Let me get you. Go and get your phone. Jideka, Jideka. Your food smells very nice today. It seems you cook to be very happy heart. <laughs> I just want to let you know how sorry I am for being rebellious lately. Mm. I hope you enjoyed me. Yes, it looks like I'm gonna enjoy it. And uh, hmm, it tastes even just like as it smells, as nice. Mm. Wonderful. Judeka, this is really nice. It's cold. You see why? Why being obedient? gets you accolade mm -hmm. you see thank you very much ma you know i have decided to learn fashion designing yes so by tomorrow i'll be going to search for where i'll get my training you see mm -hmm. and then you will now begin to find out that we mean the best for you mm. Mm. wonderful thank you very much sir This her sudden change of heart is very strange. Hmm. Don't you think she's up to something? I don't think so. Hmm. It seems she has just given up the fight. Give her a break, you know? Hmm. Okay. Let us watch her. Eat your food. Don't say I did not tell you. Hmm. You worry too much. Eat. Hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Lovely. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Dad. Okay. Nice food. Lovely. Thank you very much. I don't want to do it. Do you want water? No, I'm just fine. Oh, you're okay. Um, mommy. Mm. Do you need anything? Oh no, I'm good. I'm okay. Oh, you're fine. I'm good. Oh, Thank you. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Daddy, please, can I have my phone back? You know, I'll need it to make calls so that I'll know the best fashion designing to attend. And then when you finally find one, you need to have contact with your boss. Thank you. Yes. Wonderful. Well, I, I think mm. we should, mm. you know, right. based on that, you should have her phone back. Mm -hmm. You have your phone back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> he said it. I said it. She is up to something. Huh. You started to eat this food oh. and uh, stop being paranoid. There's nothing there. Eat. Eat this food and mm. I'll I will eat my food. No, I have I will eat. Don't worry about everything. Eat your food. What's 
kind of parents are these? They are genuinely happy at this bizarre plan. Must I condescend to these states just to honor my father and mother? God, please, help me. Hello, Mara. Angelica, I can see you've gotten your phone back. How did you do it? Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I had to accept everything they wanted me to. I requested for it. So, have you gotten your grandmother's contacts from your father's phone? Yes, I have. That is why I called you. I don't know what to tell her. What do you mean you don't know what to tell her? Tell her everything you've been going through. How your parents have been treating you, if they can help talk senses into them. I know, but I have a weird feeling. I fear I'm going to hear what I'm not supposed to hear. Like what? What if I was adopted? That's why they don't want me to see my grandmother. And maybe she isn't really my grandmother. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm beginning to feel they are not my biological parents. I fear the court is going to reveal my deepest fears. Well, Angelica. You don't have to be scared of anything. You are no more a small child. You have to face your fears now. Uh, but whatever it is, just know that I'll be always here for you, okay? Okay. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate. I'll call her now and I'll call you right back when I'm done, okay? Okay then. All the best. Good luck, okay? Alright, bye. Thanks, bye. Bye. Hello? Hello, grandmother. It's me, Njideka. Yes? Who do you say you are? It's Njideka. Eh? Njideka, mom! Njidimo! Oh, how are you, my dear? Eh? I have always told Roland to bring you to me. Eh? Or oh, at least call me so that I will know how you are faring. But he has always been giving me flimsy excuses. How are you? Mama. I've always wanted to reach you, but Daddy, Daddy has never allowed me to visit you. I feared you never wanted to see me. God forbid. Don't want to see you. The only thing he told me is that you have gone to meet uh, Richard and Emeka abroad. Eh? Four of you to school there. Mama abroad? Me? Ah! Mama, that's the more reason I called you. But. I cannot talk to you now. I'll talk to you later. Are you telling me that you are not abroad? Mama, no. I'm, I'm not schooling abroad. I'm here. Mama, they have refused to send me to the university. Don't worry, my dear. Don't cry. Don't cry. Tomorrow, you will see me in your house then. And I will make sure that I put everything in place. Ebe zina, ebe zina, ozu goze o. Fichanya mila kwa ge, mama na abia. Me me fa ife nge me fa fa gama lo mwefa. Oh, thank you very much, mama. Mama, thank you. I'm very grateful. Oh nem. Oh, bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Roland, my granddaughter is not abroad schooling. So what?
Madam, who you do? I have come to see my son, your Oga, Roland. Madam, Oga no be inside you. Yeah, okay, let me come in. Ah, Madam, Oga no give me permission to allow anybody to enter inside. Where are they going now? What did they worry you? Have you gone crazy? So, if your Oga give order, you can't concern me, won't be mama. Eh? Ah, Madam, now my job I they do. You are coming. You're welcome, ma. You can show me the way to the house. <laughs> That you are trying to tell me. Grandma, I asked Daddy to send me to the university, but he refused. I was the best in my work and Neko, and I know I'm going to make jump in one sitting, but he has refused to get me a jump form. And anytime I ask him about it, he will tell me to go learn tailoring. And I should forget about writing jump. What? Who is telling you this? Roland or his wife? Both of them. And I cried so much and I I, I wondered if, if they were really my, my my real parents. They are not your real parents, my dear. Didn't you know? What did you say? Hmm. Roland is the elder brother to your father. Your parents died in a motor accident when you were just four months old. We asked Roland to take care of you since there was nobody to look after you. That means... That means I, I have been ungrateful. They, they've actually been helping me all this while. Mm -mm. They have never done you any favor. All the companies and the houses you are seeing, thinking that they are all for Roland, they all belong to your father, Samuel. Roland was a teacher when your father died. We now ask him to take over everything and look after you until you grew up to come into the company as the chief executive. My God. Grandma, you mean my father owns everything I see. Oh yes, your father was a very good man. He helped every member of this family. My shop in the village, he's even the one that opened it for me because he never wanted me to be dependent on anybody. And I have been treated like a worthless person in my father's house. Mama! It's okay. It's okay. Come, come. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Huh? It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. Hmm? Stop crying. Don't worry. I will make sure that nobody deprives you of all you need in your own house. Hmm? I will make sure that every company, all the houses, all the informations are given back to you before I leave. Do you hear me? Nobody will ever deprive you of anything in your father's house. Because you don't want me to know. It's okay. It's okay. You say Mama is around? Yes, honey. Okay. And to make matters worse, she has been with Jideka since she came. Who knows what they have been discussing? Why did she come unannounced? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you say she has been with Injideka? Yes. 
on me. You should see the way Mama hugged Njideka when she came. Even Njideka herself. The way she screamed when she saw Mama. Eh? It was as if they had known for a very long time. No, 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 that's not possible. I knew that girl was up to something. Honey, what if they had been talking on four of you? I don't think so. That's impossible. Hey! You know, okay. Mama may have guessed that she's the one. And Njideka too has been looking for a relative to fraternize with, you know. Um, be that as it may, where's Mama now? She's in Njideka's room. Wow. Okay. okay. Njideka has been talking to Mama on phone. No. That was it for me. Let me go and read her. Hi. I can't be cool, eh? This woman is not going to get She can't stay one place in the village. Eh? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have heard of all the nonsense you have been doing. You should be ashamed of yourself. Mama, what is it now? I, I heard you came and I ran down to come and greet you. Eh? What lies have you been telling me? Hey! Don't ever try to intimidate her before me. I hope you remember what you used to be before her father died. You were a poor teacher in our village school. All this work that you have been enjoying is as a result of our father's labor. And yet you have the effrontery to deprive her from enjoying the fruits of our father's labor. Eh? Mama, I can't say I understand exactly what you're trying to say because uh, I don't know where you're coming from. How could did I deprive her from enjoying any fruit of anybody's labor? Eh? All I do about Njideka is to make her live right and quit being stubborn and following men. Uh, uh, Mama, no. I have never known a man all my life. She's lying. Roland, she did not tell me anything, but I have seen with my two eyes. Did you tell me that you have sent her to abroad to go and join Emeka and Richard to study? Oh, so this is the abroad, eh? Mama, please, eh? If there's anything serious that you want to discuss with me as your son, I'll be waiting. Hmm? You cannot be intimidating me in the presence of Njideka. It's not right. Roland, what has this girl done to, to deserve your marginalization? If she were to be your daughter, will you ask her to go and learn tailoring? Eh? Mama, I heard you came and I came to greet you. If you have anything serious, like I said, I'll be waiting. Why are you here? There is nothing you won't do anything to you as long as I am in this house. Eh? Good Keep yourself calm. You know God? Keep yourself calm. How many of There is nothing you will do that will ever make me change my opinion about you. You have betrayed every trust of the family when we committed Indira to take care of her. Right now and in my front. I want you to hand over all Samuel's property to Injideka officially. So, Mama, you have still refused to listen to me because of this small girl. But you want me to listen to you and gather all that I have labored for over the years and give to this girl. Let me ask you, Mama, how much was Samuel worth when he died? I personally rebuilt his businesses that were already going bankrupt. So having labored all these years to revive those businesses, you now want me to gather them together and call in today and say, take and go. 
don't work. You are a shameless man. What were you when Samuel was alive? An ordinary common teacher. Now you want to come and reap where you did not sow. Eh? Mama, you don't seem to understand the way things work. Because if you understood the way things work, you should have been thanking me by now for accepting to take care of Samuel's businesses. Samuel's dying businesses. I mean, who would have done it better than I have done? Look at Judeka. I have been taking care of her since she was four months. And all this while, I have done everything possible to make sure that everything works for her and for everybody. Yet, I am not appreciated. Uh, who would have taken care of her father's businesses and taken care of her, if not you? Eh? Oh, you want me to clap for you? Roland. <laughs> Let me tell you, Roland. Hand over all her father's properties back to her. As I will call all the elders in her family. They will come to compel you and to disgrace you before taking over all the properties from, from you. Mark my words. Mama, take it easy now. Take it easy. Eh? Has it got into that? We all want the best for Njideka. You don't just expect her to just jump into her father's businesses at this young age. What does she know? She doesn't know anything about management. Let us allow her to grow of age before she can move into her father's businesses. Eh? Whether she's of age or not of age, all I want you to do is to hand over all her father's properties to her. Mama, I am not transferring or giving back anything to Njudeka, but she doesn't deserve it. This ungrateful element, who, after all I had done for her, she still came to you to paint me like a devil. This one. That will not happen, Mama. Roland, you will do it. Over my dead body, will I see you retrieve all Samuel's properties for yourself? I'm not handing them over to her. Mama, calm down. Calm down. Let us not allow this to get out of hand. You're taking this too far. Stop taking it too far. We all must come to a compromise. Please calm down. Calm down. Don't tell me that rubbish. Run! Except you did not suck this my breast. You won't get away with it. You won't get away with it. <laughs> This whole thing is getting out of hand. I don't know what best way it is to resolve this now. Because my mother is solidly behind her. And I know my mom. She will do everything possible to ensure that we lose all that we have worked for. I don't want to lose everything to that girl. We must find a way to convince mama. And make her look bad in her presence. So that Mama will lose her will and desire to stand for her. Yes. All that is long story. I have told you the best way out of this is just to kill that girl. Hmm? Because by killing her, there will be no one to be alive to drag the property with us. You know that. Stop saying this. Hmm? Why are you calling killing now? Please. I am not in support of that. I don't want to stain our hands with blood. We have our own children. Do you want any bad thing to happen to your own children? Mm, no. How can anything bad happen to my children? Then why are you wishing for another person's children? Please, oh, it is better we find another way to solve this problem. Me, I am not in support of killing. You know, you are a coward. If you were not standing in my way all this while, I would have gotten this thing over with long before now. It is better I become a coward than soil my hand with blood. Mm. Mm. Okay. So what's the way forward now? Mm. What is the best way to resolve? Mm -hmm. Now you're talking. Just leave that matter for me. I have a plan. 
Let us watch out. Well, I have a plan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's wait for your plan, but we don't have to. Don't worry. What is this? Yeah, it's coming. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh -huh. One woman die outside and one girl. They say they won't see you, ma'am. Okay, let them in. Okay, ma'am. Good afternoon, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you. Please do have a seat. Thank you. Good afternoon, ma'am. You're welcome, ma'am. How may I help you? <laughs> yes, I heard you had the doctor here calling in the day, who attends the same school with my daughter, Kichi. Yes, she's around. In the day, ma'am. In the day, Yes, ma'am. Come. I hope there is no problem. There is, though. Is it? Ma? In Kichi? Ma? Is she the girl? Yes. Madam. My daughter here was complaining of a serious pain and I took her to the hospital only to find out that she just had an abortion and the damage was seriously bad. Huh? Now the doctor says she may not be able to conceive anymore. She has been admitted since then and was discharged this morning. I questioned her to know who led her to do the abortion. She now said it was your daughter. In the huh? What? Me? Yes. God forbid! Stop of discussing to that extent. Hey! Njideka! Uh, hey! I don't know why I'm on You? Mama! You are finished! I swear! I don't, I, I don't know anything about this! Get out of the church now! Please don't force out. Jesus. Don't force out. Oh, get in Oh, get in there. Mama! What happened? Hey! This wayward girl Njideka took this girl to a hospital where they did an abortion on her and they damaged her womb uh, in her womb uh, exactly oh uh, mama mama I swear to god I don't know anything about this shit let's go 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 just wait a minute please are you sure that this girl out of fear did not just pick a random name to pacify the mother? Mama! Why are you talking like that? A mature lady cannot just wake up from her house and come to this place to make fun of herself. Oh. Her daughter must have told her the truth. Well, anyway, she's a big girl. She's here, she can speak for herself. Uh, nah. Sorry about the abortion, no. Hey! Are you sure it is my granddaughter that took you to the hospital? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma. Really? And when did this happen? It was last week, Thursday, ma. Hey. And uh, where is the hospital located? I, I, I can't remember the name of the hospital, ma. I just followed her there. You can ask her. Oh. I cannot ask her. Both of you are of the same age. So you can speak for yourself. Mama, this is not the best way to go. I wonder. Eh? I cannot let you squeeze my daughter here when you have not asked your granddaughter a word. It's not fair. Ask it's me. Not fair. Me? Yes. How can I ask her any question when she has been standing here crying out all her eyes that? She did not do what your daughter is accusing her of. <laughs> no, do it. But my daughter here cannot make up a lie, such a lie, to blackmail your granddaughter. I suggest you ask your granddaughter all these questions. Ask her. Yes, madam. If this is the best choice you can make, I will tell you that my granddaughter is innocent. Innocent it is. Mama, look at the way you are talking. Are you blind? I was not. Are you not saying that this woman is telling lies? I have to expect this from you, Mama. A woman like you, 
Eh? You're taking side with your granddaughter. It is not fair now. Such enormous thing happens to your daughter. You did not even deem it right to tell your daughter to take you to the hospital where she committed this abortion. Such a big girl who is able to become pregnant and do abortion cannot even locate the hospital where she was taken to. Bano, can you even die? Ah! Yeah? You said this thing happened last week, Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yes, ma. Was it not last week, Thursday, that I came into town? Eh, hey, Maju? Hey. Don't you go no pay. Mpama. Eh, Hey! If I let me, you will not as go Arabanko. Fools! That's what you go are. Angie, Ma. God let us go away from this place for these people. Dibe, dibe. Then I'm married for nine. Maybe I'm not going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angie, you cook, cook. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this is a very big embarrassment. Ah. I am friends. Get it, please. Let's go. Maybe I'm sorry about everything. Huh? I'm so sorry. So that was the stupid plan that you thought would have swayed my mother. Hmm? Didn't you know that my mother would never have fallen for such half cooked plan? I'm sorry. I thought the sound of word abortion would have really struck the negative chord with your mother. Yes. I'm surprised that uh, you still don't know that your mother-in-law is a very crafty and very smart woman. Well, if you believe that I am smart, you should have known that uh, I got it from my mother. I really think we are running out of choices here. What do we do? That is the point. What are we going to do? What do we do? Are you asking me? Mm -hmm. Well, I've made up my mind on what I'm going to do. And um, I don't need your consent anymore. Okay. Now, now that Mama is here, how do you think you can kill Jideka without Mama's crying foul? Or do you intend to kill your mother as well? Uh -huh. Now will I kill my mother? I can't possibly kill my mother. Okay. But I do have a plan. Hmm. I don't believe you can do anything without Mama's crying foul. Don't get us into a situation where Mama will start calling all the villagers for us. To me, I suggest we divide all the properties and allow peace to reign. I know Mama. She will have reason with us if we come up with a reasonable agreement on the matter. I know how she will. <laughs> a reasonable agreement. Well, to me, the only reasonable agreement will be that Inchideka gets nothing. See, I'd rather die than have Inchideka get a penny. And if you two stand in my way, I'll deal with you. Um, I just want everything to be safe. That's all. I have to think of my children and how this might affect them if it gets us off hand. We have kids. We have to put them first before we go on with anything. I have said my own. Mama, I've been so worried about the sudden lack of peace in our family because of all this uh, Njideka or no Njideka problem. So I have decided with my lawyer, my wife, we have both agreed that well, it's okay that we transfer everything back to Njideka. 
So for that reason, she will have to come with me to the office so that she will meet the lawyer and sign the relevant papers so that she will see what she's taking over and of course she will meet with the staff. It's good, but I will accompany both of you. Oh, Mama, no, no. Why would you stress yourself over such uh, stressful details? You are not getting any younger. Besides, you told me here a while ago or some time ago that Njideka is grown now. She's not my baby, so she should be able to take care of herself, even though I'm going with her. Uncle, I would like Mama to come with me. Oh, yeah, keep quiet. Know. What do you What do you know about going? Why do you want to stress, Mama? Eh? Are you still a child? Please allow Mama to rest at home. Allow Grandma to relax and. Why are you two arguing? Yeah? I have already made up my mind that I am going with her and no one is stopping me. What are you going there to do, Mama? Okay, Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Mama, it's okay. You will come with us. It's okay so that you will see things yourself. It's okay, you know. But then, that will be when I come back because I have to see somebody briefly. By the time I come back, you're all dressed and we're going. It's so bad, you know. All right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. uh, Those boys will never get away with this. Well, I have called the commissioner of police, and uh, in no time they will be caught and they will pay for their sins. Hey, look at, the, look at what they did to me. Thank God people came to your rescue on time. You would have bled to death, but my God did not allow that. Hey, Mama, please stop crying, oh? Njideka will be found alive. Please. Roland, go and bring my granddaughter back to me. Don't let anything happen to her. Mama, the one I don't understand now is the way you are sounding like you loved Njideka more than anybody else in this house. That's the girl who has been with me since she was four months old. And I've been taking care of her. Okay, we had issues in the very recent past, but it doesn't make me care less about her. So please. <laughs> Roland, I suspected that there was something fishy over this trip. That is why I insisted that I must follow both of you. Go and get my granddaughter back to me. Or be prepared to bury me here. Hey, Mama, stop talking like that. Eh? Why would you accuse your son? You saw what happened now. You were there with him. You were the one that called me on phone from the hospital. Just calm down. Nothing will happen to Njideka. Oh? Roland, go and bring my daughter back to me. Oh. Roland, you have killed me. Oh. Hi. Oh. Listen to me, Mama. You see, these people are kidnappers. In no time now, you will hear them calling and asking for ransom. Well, the only thing I can promise you is that whatever they call to ask for, I will pay. I will pay so they can release her back to us. Please. If these people are kidnappers, why didn't they kidnap you? Why will they kidnap my own granddaughter? Are you not the one who has the money? Eh? Hey, Mama. It's okay. Oh? Just calm down. I don't want any bad thing to happen to you. Jideka is already missing. Please calm down. Let oh? Me, let me die. Let me die! The only thing that someone left for me has slipped off my finger. Let me die so that Roland will know that all his family they have left him. Roland, it will never be well with you. Mama, please. I'm not going to take this anymore. Eh? Why are you talking to me like this? Eh? Uh, were you not there when they did this to me? Why are you sounding like a. Uh, I 
I fear she may fall ill. What do we do? Well, it's natural that she would cry. So I'm sure she will get over it. However, um, by tomorrow I'll get a doctor to check her out. So, Chileka is dead? That was the only option left for us because she was a stumbling block between us and all that we had worked for all these years. I still think you went too far. She don't deserve to die. Hmm? We now have her blood on our hands. Oh, please. You need to stop talking about all this blood, blood nonsense. All this blood talk is all nothing but a figment of your superstitious imagination. So, how then do we tell Mama? Because we can't keep on telling her that she's still with the kidnappers. By tomorrow, I will break the news to her in a way. I either tell her the truth or find something to tell her. And then I'll have a doctor on standby to tranquilize her if necessary. But in all this, she has to get a fight. It's done and there's nothing anyone can do about it. So, what about Jideka's dead body? Those dogs should drop her body where we can see it. So that we give her a proper burial. Oh God, that would be a difficult one because they told me that the body was dumped in the lagoon with a huge stone tied to it. Hey, no now, hey, eh? how would they do such a thing? Eh? They shouldn't have dropped her body to the lagoon. She's still part of this family. No, I was in the hospital when all that happened. I couldn't have done anything about it. This is really bad. This is really bad. At least Mama would have seen her body and observed her burial. Okay, now that Mama has not seen her body and observed her burial, are you now going to go into the lagoon and observe her burial? You wouldn't have allowed them to drop her into the lagoon. How would they do that? Eh? She's a human being and part of this family. Uh, it's been done. There's nothing I can do about it. I just feel for her. Amara! Amara! Go, go, go! Jump, jump, jump now! Where's the picture of my office car? Amara, I'm so happy to see you. But I saw you yesterday. But thank God I'm still alive. See, my uncle hired killers to kill me. If not for God's intervention, that's why I'm still alive. Are you serious? I can't be joking something like that. Oh God. Then how did you escape? I did not escape. The leader of the gang set me free. He told me to disappear. So I, I need to leave this town. That's why I called you. I don't know. Do you know anybody? Oh, you? Please leave me. No, no, no. We need to think now. Think, 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 think. I need to leave this town. But I don't know anyone. How do I help you? Amara, think, think. think. <sighs> okay, okay. What about Pastor Mike? We can call him. Maybe he can know one or two members that can be of help. No, no, no. I don't want to get too, too much people involved in this. I, I don't want them to know about me being alive. And you think Pastor Mike is going to expose your secrets? Oh. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Okay, let's go in. What about your phone? I don't know. I'm supposed to, be, I'm supposed to be dead by now. How can my phone be available? One of the talks collected from me. Please, give me, give me the phone. Give me. You should know what to do, Sebi. Pastor, that was how it happened. So I had to disguise myself. Hmm. Our God is good. You know, I had a vision about the spirit of death surrounding you. But well, thank God you heeded to my warning and prayed about it. The good God who has delivered you from those killers will also restore back all that has been taken away from you in his own mysterious ways. Amen. You see, the battle had just begun. We must not relent in our prayers. And I believe the good Lord will grant us victory in this battle. Amen. Meanwhile, I have to put a call across to our branch pastor in Lagos to inform him about your coming. You have to relocate to Lagos. He will accept you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God will bless you richly. Thank you very much, sir. You don't need to thank me. Thank Almighty God. Meanwhile, I have to inform the pastor about your prayer needs. We all have to join us together and pray for you. Meanwhile, stretch forth your hands and let us pray. 
in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus father Lord we thank you because I say I do I do. God will take perfect control of everything. Now that we have come to see Pastor Paul, your problem is solved. Thank you very much. Pastor, good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Peace of love be with you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Sorry for keeping you waiting. I was praying inside. No problem, sir. This is Injideka, the little girl I told you about. I personally brought her here for safety reasons. You're welcome. Um, Pastor Mike has told me all you've been through and um, thank God that you're here and hence you're here we're going to engage in series of prayer sessions and by the grace of the Lord victory shall be us so in that case thank you very much sir I really do appreciate it you're welcome so let's go inside <laughs> Like this, and take it easy now. If you don't stop crying, I may be tempted to call Mazu or Gaffo to come and take you back home. Give me my Jideka. How can we stop crying? Mama, I see, eh? Uh, Jideka cannot just appear like that. Eh? The police are doing everything possible to ensure that they find her. That's not true. If they find her in no time, she will join us. Your crying will not help to bring her back there. It will only worsen your situation. Remember what the doctor told you about your health, though? I must mean, stop crying. Hmm? Even if they can return, I will have a health problem crying. Then we will have another issue at hand. How oh, should It is okay. She will come back. Roland, I want you to swallow this my breasts. That you do not have hand in what happened to Njideka. If you swear, I will just get up and live in peace. Mama, you know I cannot swear. Eh? <clears throat> you know my religion does not permit swearing. Besides, in this uh, modern age, what would you expect me to start swearing? Over what now? It will never be well with you, Roland. If anything should happen to that girl, her blood would be on your head. Since you have decided to steal someone's properties and decide to kill your own niece, blood will never stop in this family. Ah, uh -uh, Mama, <laughs> what is all this? Eh? That is too much now. My husband is your son and family. If anything happens to him and our family, it will also affect you. Why are you speaking like this, Roland? Yeah. Give me my Angie Decker, because if you don't bring her back. Don't ever call me your mother again. And if I should step out of this house, I will never come back to this house again. I hope you are hearing me. And one last warning. If I die, and you dare come near my burial, my spirit will get up and slap you and blind you. I've told you my own. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even understand again now. My mind is taking this thing too far now. I don't know. I also suffer. Look at my head. What's all this uh, curse is about? Recognize my voice. Am I? It's me, Injideka. Hi, Injideka. How are you? How are you doing? I'm fine. This is my new number. How is everything? Oh, wow. Um, Injideka, I really miss you. How are you doing? And you know, I can't even tell anybody about you. Mm -hmm. I miss you too. So, what's the latest development about my disappearance? Your uncle is busy placing posters the whole place you know, about you missing. And 
your grandmother has gone back to the village finally. Oh, too bad. You know, I can't call her. But sometimes I, I, I just feel like calling her, but I resist. I miss her so much. You have to control your urge, you know. But wait, how are you doing over there? What's the, you know, what's the latest? What's happening? <laughs> My dear, we are pushing it small, small. Hmm. You need to see this place. This place is very, very fine. There are a lot of fine, fine places. Don't worry, eh? When you come around, you see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I have a plan of coming on Friday. Really? Yes. <coughs> Don't worry, eh? See, there's this wedding that my pastor wants me to attend. He wants me to go there and pick money. And uh, you know I don't have so many friends here, yeah? so since you're coming, you, you're going to go with me. Is that your plan of taking me out? When I come, you have to take me to go and see those fine places you talked about. Uh-uh. Amara, -uh. you know I'm not the outing type. Eh? And you don't need to go to all those places now. Don't worry, see eh? This wedding is a very classy wedding. When you come, you will see a lot of fine, fine places. Anyway, say no more. Friday it is then. Can't wait to see you. Yes, Friday. <laughs> Alright. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. I do. I do. I hope she'll say I do. Because I'll say I do. I do. I do. I hope she says I do Because I'll say I do It's such a wonderful feeling When you finally find the one That special one eh, The very one your heart accepted To tie the knot Is what is suspected eh. So you do everything in your power To make it work oh, eh, You've made up your mind to make her your bride eh? And that's all that matters It doesn't matter All the obstacles You're very ready To fight the battles Because you made up your mind To make her yours today oh, yeah. Don't do mess for me Stop there! To be. Hey! I said stop there! Because I'll say I do Let's stop and keep moving. Who are you? Uh, we are in Jideka. Sorry, I am in Jideka and she's Amara. So, what do you want? So I had to see at the event the bride that is ready today. What for? Um. Well, my name is Angelica, and I am the wedding planner and the chief organizer of everything here, especially the bride. Okay, uh, we are the pickers. That's why we are here. Pickers. <laughs> What? To make it work, there's no turning back. What? There's no going back. <laughs> like this. Cause I found like I said, I am the wedding planner and in charge of everything around here. She never hinted me of any pickers. Come help pick money during the spring at the wedding ceremony. Um, let me make this easy for you too. You know what? Come with me. I need to address this in her presence. But we are very interested in helping her pick the money. Shut up! Come with me! I hope it's meant to be. I hope she says I do. I do. Because I'll say I do. 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 Tony, where are you? Do we have good morning first? Why are you sounding like that? Are you okay? Come on, man. I'm very disappointed. Listen, as my best man, you should be here by now. 
It's my wedding in a few hours and my, my shoes have, haven't even been polished. All I'm saying is, you should be here by now. That reminds me, I can't find the the wedding document you helped me sign at the local government. Where is it? I can't find it. Guy, you need to relax. You had to move on to give last night. Go and go from tomorrow. I will soon be on my way. Okay, you need to be quick. <laughs> yes, you, you, you have to hurry. And for the records, my shoes need to be polished. Pastor Duke introduced these girls to me as the most trusted ushers in our church. My question has not been answered. Am I still the wedding planner and chief organizer? Of course you are still in charge. Nobody is disputing that. But this... No buts. I am in charge. And these two will not be picking your money. Why? Girls, I'm sorry, but you have to excuse me for a second. Okay. Thank you. Yvonne, do you realize that people with money spraying machines will be coming for this wedding? Mm hmm Of course. And you brought in those hungry looking girls to pick money for you angelica by the time they see money spray machine pumping money into the air they will be talking in your money into their bras and their panties and at the end of the day before your honeymoon you will see yourself counting 10 10 naira notes and 20 20 naira notes angelica i have already made arrangements for a former money picking squad to do the job They'll be wearing pocketless shirts. In fact, straight body hugs, no pockets, no belts, nothing. Well, I I guess you win. So, what do I do with those girls out there? The job does not start now. It starts after the wedding, and that is picking bottles. I repeat, picking bottles and not money. So while you stand around here and wait for the wedding to be over and the reception begin, just stand around in case I need some random errands, I'll call on two of you. And while you're here, make very good useful of yourselves and do not look for trouble. Aren't you supposed to say good morning? Yes, but because I'm kind of uneasy with what you're trying to do. Well, I'm obviously here to see my wife. I'm sorry. As the organizer and wedding planner of this whole event, you can't see her. Maybe in courts or in church, only then can you call her your wife. I'm sorry, Angelica, I have to see my wife. There is this age-long superstition that the groom cannot see the bride on the morning of the wedding. Else some kind of jinx may happen. Tell me, what's really going to happen if I break the law? My marriage is going to crash or I'm going to drop dead at the altar, which... Well, I'm sorry you can't... Hey! Oh. Hi, babe. Hello, baby. Mm. How are you? Very well. I'll show I heard voices inside. Oh, uh, yeah. We're just having a little conversation. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. We are not good enough to pick money. Why? Amara, we just had to prove to her that 
We have no hidden agenda in money picking. We should have just gone straight to the reception hall and... No! Ha! Coming here first to confirm our role made sense. Maybe it's our dressing. Dressing? Ah. But we came out with the best dress we had. See, just, let's just wait around and see the role she has for us. No, honestly, I just feel like going home right now. No. Ah. See, if we go home now, she will suspect we have an hidden agenda in money picking. But for now, Please, enjoy your new role as an errand girl. <laughs> Tony was right. Yeah, he handed it to me his presence yesterday. I should keep this, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, my dad. Let's get ready. Oh, right. I do not work like this. As a well-known wedding planner, I do my work professionally. I'm sorry, ma'am. Look at the time. I told you to be here at exactly past six. I needed you to catch the whole preparations, the makeup, the bride's makeup, everything, etc. Now, how do I get all this on tape? <laughs> Ma, that's no problem. We can get some staffs either here or anywhere they are doing wedding. I can go there, take some good shots. Even Abatua, it's close to my house. They are selling me there. I can go there and take some shots. We edit it and get something good out of it. Well, as I was saying, I need it to monitor. <laughs> I needed you to monitor the people that will spray money. 247. I need a glimpse of everything that they are spraying. Mother, sorry, that was not what you were saying before. You are talking of how to go and get some shorts. You know, um, all those things. Shut up! So, you want to have a coming? Any moment from now, you guys made everything look like a joke, a waste. How is that? I wanted everyone to spend the night in this place so that we don't have to go around looking for anyone. But after the bachelor's night, I saw every guy sneaking out to one girl or the other. <laughs> You're very funny. What do you expect? You expect to see the guys take girls into different rooms in this place? Come on, Emeka. Come on. Hi, Mom. Is she on her way or she's on her way to meet two people there? Um, I think she should be on her way now. Ah, oh, come on, Mom. It's too early for this. Why don't you start coming, you and Dad and the other people? Will you shut up and listen? I've told your father I'm not coming to the wedding until the ghost of your mother-in-law shows up. Okay? Mom. I have told you, I have special reservations for Yvonne's family background. Her father's late, yes. She grew up in America. But that doesn't mean she doesn't have a relation here. Come on, Mom. She has an uncle and other people coming from America as well. I've just been told that people here do rent family members for weddings. That a so-called uncle could have been rented to. Mom. America. I am not coming if your mother-in-law doesn't show up. Simple. Mom. Bye. What is this? What's happening? What's going on here? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where are the rest of the girls? The Listen, as the wedding planner and chief organizer of this whole event, I do not expect you girls to just sit around laughing by this time. We thought we were leaving by nine. And I actually thought we were leaving by ten. Have you forgotten we have to go to the court first before proceeding to the church at ten? We are so sorry, but we are up already. Then you should be up and about helping the other departments, getting ready and doing your makeups. Alright, we'll do just that, ma. You go get me the other girls fast.
Dad, you need to talk to Mom. This is my wedding. I thought all issues were put in place. God, you have to also try to live with your mother. You can't find your mother. Reason? How am I supposed to do that? How many times do I tell her this girl does not have a father? And now she's insisting on seeing the mother after I told her her mother is on her way here. Now listen, Rebecca. A pair will come from the parental or family alliance. It's like a man who out a woman. Such a person can be taught. That this girl lived her life, all her life in the US. She only came back a year ago. And your mother thinks she's one of those that was having stolen by her parents. And she's willing to rent the family to do this. Dad, did you say rent? Did you say rent? What about her mother coming from the US? That's right. That's a good point. She should have arrived like a week ago. So if she comes to do it, we will not take the idea of her to America. Dad, she will show off her passport and reflect the point. I am not the one that said that the mom did. Dad, at this point, I don't care if mom supports me or not. As long as I have you, I am fine. I am good to go. Thanks for that confidence in me. But if my wife, your mother, is not coming, I am certain she will make sure I don't come to you. And why are you interrupting me? You did not grow around adults or what? She is sorry, ma. Please continue. Why are you apologizing on her behalf? Anyway, I did not hire you girls here for you to be lousy and gossip. But I called you girls to give you a serious warning. Warning? Yes. It is a warning. Because I do not want any of you to come here and disgrace me. You want me, ma? Firstly, I want all of you to act like you've known Yvonne all your life. Even though none of you knows her. Is that all, ma? I'll be the one to say when that is all. Secondly, during dancing and spraying, I do not want any of you to dance this your kind of stupid ass dance. You know what I'm talking about, so do not pretend. This dance that you position your ass like this, and you'll be winding your waist and hitting each other, or you'll be using your hands to regulate. If I catch you, you are dead. No, you now, why do you know? But you just said we should act like her close power, and the only way to do that is by dancing happily with her. I said, dance, but do not dance more than the celebrant. Is that difficult to ask? Oh, no, it's not. Anything else, ma? Lastly, during the spraying of money, if you're dancing and they spray you money and the money flies to the ground where the bride and the groom are dancing, do not touch it. It is not your money. If I catch you, that is all. I hope everything is clear. I hope it's clear! Yes, ma'am. Listen, I do understand. I'm here to see you with your mother. You know. Yvonne doesn't seem to have a father. Because if she did have a father, she would have taken him to see her father's people. Tony, I have told those who have ears that this girl's parents got divorced when she was only five years old. And ever since, she's been living with her mother in the US. Until she came back recently to Nigeria. And why isn't her mother connected to her father's people? At least that way you will have people to go introduce yourself to properly. Tony, why are you guys so backward and thinking? My wife said she doesn't want our kind of wedding. That she wants an American kind of wedding. I mean, you walk into a courtroom, sign some papers, go into the church and get married. And if by any means her mother introduces her to her father's people, we could actually go there, do the traditional rite, do all the local stuff, and that's it. But Tony, you don't expect me to go to her mother's people and start paying her dowry. Come on. That's anti-culture or whatever you call it. You need to calm down. No, no, I'm not going to calm down. Today's my wedding. I mean, why is everyone asking questions about her background and stuff like that? That is simply because her mother, who she claims is in the US and who's coming for this wedding, 
It's yet to show up to at least let people know that you're married to a real woman. A few hours of the wedding. No mother. None. Tony, am I getting married to her mother, her father, or her family members? Come on, man! I love you, Vaughn! Even if she was from an orphanage home, don't people get married to orphans anymore? Then simply tell them the truth. What is the truth? Listen, I am beginning to have myself because it's piling up like this. What is happening here is not, it's not normal, it's not right. Your bride is supposed to be married in her father's compound in the village, in the father's house. But oh no, that's not what's happening. She's getting married here in the city. And her uncle, her maternal uncle, is the one you're going to pay the dowry to. If you not said no to it because you think it's anti-cultural, what could have happen? Huh? She would have just called me and said, oh, okay, it's all right. Um, you know what, my mom is going to show you my father's compound later, but for now, Marry me first. How stupid can you be, Emeka? I can't believe you, man. You can't believe me? No, seriously. Oh, you better believe me. You're doing some crazy stuff right now. You better, you better stop me. I'm just preparing and waiting for my makeup artist. Besides, where is my cheap bridesmaid? I haven't seen her today. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. She was stupidly taking photos with other girls. I chased her into her room to get dressed. The makeup assistant will start off with her makeup before she will start with the other girls. Um, is she the one doing the entire makeup for everyone? My madam is on her way. Um, oh, that's fine. I'll wait for your madam. That's okay. That's what I should just say. Shh. So is this what I'm supposed to be hearing from you at this point? Omega, is it that you just want to marry Yvonne for an American green card? Because why are you so blind to the fact that she's... Tony, I love Yvonne and she loves me too. So no matter what you do or anyone does, I'll still marry her. Omega, no one cares. No one cares how you feel. Okay? No one is stopping you from marrying her. Okay? No one is stopping you. But we only contend if the mother is going to come from America for the wedding. Her mother. Tony, let me ask you a question. Is her mother the reason for this wedding? No, 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 answer my question. I, I mean, is she the priest to join us together? Why is her coming so important anyways? Because she's the mother. Why is your mother here? 
Babe, are we going to go over that today? Your mother is supposed to be here by now, judging by the time she told you she was leaving the US. Of course. It's about your mom again today. It's not about my mom. It is about your mom. <sighs> but I know your mom is the one pushing you all over again, right? Listen, just tell me the truth. Is your mom coming or not? Do you even have a mom? Have you been lying to me? Just come out straight. Why does your mother hate me so much? Why does she want to destroy my happiness? Babe, listen, nobody hates you, okay? It's our wedding day. Your mom should be here by now. That's all I'm saying. You save us some stress because time is really wearing thin. And the truth is, the truth is, I don't care about my parents anymore. Whether or not they attend the wedding, I don't care. What? Is, is that the truth? What, what about her? Well, she said her mom promised to make it. I mean, that was their final conversation before she confirmed she was at the airport. Amika. That was 24 hours ago. Listen, Tony. Today's my wedding. You're my friend. I don't care about my parents anymore. Are you in or out? We can't do this without your parents. But if you insist, I'll come along with you. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll be with you through the way. I just hope we can pull this through. Now you're standing by me. On one leg, though. On one leg. Groom guys are here and the ladies are set as well, so you need to call your parents. I'm not calling anyone. <clears throat> no, I'm not. I mean, even if I do, they're not going to come as long as Yvonne's mother is not here. Let me play a scenario out for you, okay? Your father, you need your father to sign for you on the you know, wedding certificate section of the marriage today. Do you understand? Tony. Yeah. Right now. I don't care anymore. All I know is we're getting married today with or without their presence. Because I've gone too far to be stopped by their absence. Do you understand me? I understand all that. But you need your dad. Okay? You need your dad to stand in for you. And you also need your mom. It's important. Tony, have you ever heard that phrase? What, 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 what phrase? When we get to the bridge, we'll cross it. Yeah. See, a lot of people whose parents are dead get married. For an example, our friend Matthias. His parents are late. Did he not get married? Did you not attend the wedding? Didn't I attend the wedding? Come on, man! I have seen my bride to be. My old Matthias. I don't like Matthias. I hope she'll say I do. Because I'll I do. I've seen my bride to be. I hope she'll say I do. Come on. 
Tuhan Miss Angelica. What is this? Did you forget my instructions? You haven't even responded to my greeting. That is because you refuse to adhere to my instructions. What did I tell you, girls? None of you should dress sexier, hotter, even in makeup more than the bride herself. What is this? That special one. I'm the chief bridesmaid. I mean, this shouldn't apply to me as well. Miss Angelica, I'm not in competition with the bride over her man. I mean, she's already taken. Auntie, you called me. Seriously, I am not happy with you. I am not. So who did this you? I did. A makeup artist. Because you made up your mind to make her yours today. Yes, ma'am. I have seen my bride to be. I pray it's meant to be. I hope she'll say I do. She'll say I do. Cause I'll say I do. I've seen my bride to see my bride to be the very one your heart accepted. Yeah, um, sorry guys for the delay, okay? Um, we'll be with you in a short while. Alright? Uh, uh, right. So, excuse me, how is the bride and groom doing? Very well. Great. 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 Yeah, I totally understand your mom couldn't make it. I do. Listen. Here's what I want you to do, okay? Call your uncle. Yes, call your uncle. Tell him to come with his wife. His wife can stand in as your mother. Don't worry about me. Tony and I, we, we, we're actually working on something. <clears throat> okay, see you. Right. You scared me, man. What was all that about? Hurting me. Hey Jesus. See, this thing is hurting me. Oh, I can't open my eyes. Oh. Jesus, what's going on? I can't open my eyes. I can't open your eyes. Now. Are you asking me? I can't open my eyes. Hey, relax. Hey, don't tell me to relax. Don't tell me to relax. My eyes is hurting me. Wait, wait, wait. Are you seeing anything? Are you seeing anything? Are you seeing anything? What did you, 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 you use? Know you the sentence I've been using for everybody now. Hey, Jesus, this girl has blinded me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you see, help me. Down, help calm me. Down, calm down, calm down. Wait. Oh, try to open it slowly. Hey, oh, I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. He's not opening. Oh, he's hurting me. He's holding me as if Chuko Chuko has entered my eyes. He's in me. He's in me. Hey, God, let me marry a woman with one eye. Oh my mom is so high, oh, this girl has killed me, oh. Just calm down, let's go and wash it. Maybe a little super glue have dropped into your eyes. Eh, super glue? Super glue? Ah, oh, Jesus! Inside my eyes! Hey, this girl has blinded me, oh. She's blinding me, Jesus. Who told you to use super glue? Oh, get up, get up, get up, let's go and wash it. Me, oh. If I, if my eye goes blinded, just so you know that this is my eye one is equal to two of your own. I will so pour buckets of spa glue inside your eyes. Let's go and wash it. Your eyes is not even open. So sorry. Sorry. Madam sent you here to blind people. Madam, I'm very sorry. It was a mistake. Definitely it is. Because if it were a calculated effort, you did a bad job. I'm really sorry. If she goes blind, 
you and your mother will be in hot soup. I gave her a job. She subcontracted you. An amateur. Then went away to do another makeup for another client. I think the best thing for us to do is to take her to the hospital. Since the eye has not opened, I'm sure there's something the doctors can do about it. Did you wash it? Can I wash the wash the wash the book of the eyes. The eyes is not even open. Can I see? Ah, it's not in me. What? Did I not warn you girls? And you went fixing lashes. I warned you girls never to overdress. <laughs> it's not what we should be talking about now. No, darling. We should be talking about super glue and your gunk eye. Oh yeah, take her to the next available clinic. Actually, <laughs> my flight landed at 2 a.m. last night and I got my SIM card and even here booked my hotel and had everything prepared for me, everything. <laughs> so anyways, um, we need to call the maker's parents right now to join us in court and in church. You will be meeting us in church, won't you? Yeah. No way. No, no, no. Everything can actually wait. I mean, my mom has to meet with her first. We can all proceed to the venue together. Yeah. Really? Bye. Yes. <laughs> we shall be back. I want to see them too. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. I have seen my right to be. I pray it's meant to be. I hope she'll say I do. Because I'll say I do. I've seen my right to be. I hope it's meant to be. I hope she says I do. Because I'll say I do. Whoa. I do. I do, I hope she'll say I do, because I'll say I do, I do, I do, I hope she says I do, because I'll say I do. It's such a wonderful feeling when you finally find the one, that special one, eh, the very one your heart accepted, to tie the knot is what is suspected. Yes, Emeka, what is it again? Mom, the devil is a liar. What has the devil done again? As I speak with you now, my mother-in-law just arrived. She's here now. Are you really sure she's the one that came from America? Or is it just another rented imposter? Mom, listen to me. Today is my wedding day. I must get married today, whether the devil likes it or not. So I'm waiting for you and dad here. So you all come here and we proceed to the venue. It's okay, but first, we must check your mother-in-law's genuineness and originality before we proceed. Is that okay? I have seen my bride to be, I pray it's meant to be. But oh, she'll say I do, because I'll say I do. I've seen my bride to be, hope it's meant to be. How is she now? Well, they took her to an optic center. But I don't even understand how somebody can make that kind of mistake. Let's not go into that now. We're running late. Um, your chief bridesmaid will do your makeup. She's very good. Uh, that's some real shit if you ask me. Yeah, mommy. Shit happens. But let me go and get dressed. You get to work. Okay, I will. Hello, mom and dad. How are you? Hi, thank you. Hi, Tony. Hello, sir. Hi, Dolly. I'm good. Yeah. Tony, where is Emeka? Oh, mom, dad. Thank God you guys are here. We're running late. Can we leave? Where is the mother-in-law from America? She's with Yvonne. They're coming together to join us. So, can we go? We're running late. No way, Emeka. We are not leaving this place without seeing your mother-in-law. I think your mother is right. We should all be on the same page. Okay, I'll, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go get her. Better. Honey, okay. let's sit down. I have seen my right to be. I pray it's meant to be. I hope she'll say I do. Because I'll say I do. I've seen my right to be. I hope it's meant to be. I hope she says I do. Because I'll say I do. Whoa. I do. I do. I do. I hope she'll say I do. Because I'll say I do. Whoa. I do. I do. I hope she says I do. I do. I do. I hope she says I do. I do. I do. I hope she says I do. I do. I do. I hope she says I do. I do. I do. I hope she says I do. I do. I do. I hope she says I do. I do. I do. I h
Jesus. Wow. You see? You guys are getting along very well. Yeah. This is what we pray for. Yeah. Much more happier seeing you here, Andrea. Wow. Why, why did you say that, Mrs. Regina? Well, you will not understand. But trust me, I, my son Emeka, and my husband have had it rough and tough awaiting your arrival. Some reason they're inside again right now. <laughs> oh, I feel so blown away already. Oh. You know, somehow I have this feeling that Yvonne's decision to come back home hasn't been a wrong one after all. Honestly, I'm so, so... Yeah. Still in Tobechiko. Is it you I'm seeing or I'm seeing a parishion? Damn. What are you doing here? You know each other? Darling, who is Steven? Why are you calling? Why are you calling me Steven? Dad, you know my mother in law to be. Shit, this is not happening. Someone tell me this is not true. Steven, tell me you're not the man I'm seeing right now. Oh, shit. So, Emeka is your son, and he want to marry my daughter. Damn! This is the end of your road. Your evil has caught up with you at last. Shame on you, Steven. Shame on you. Shame on you. I'm sorry, folks. Really sorry. Ain't gonna happen. No way. Wait, 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 madam. Wait, madam, wait, 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 listen, I need to... Yeah, there, there, it was a Steven. Listen, no, 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 listen, you need to listen, listen, this is my wedding day, I don't expect all this from you people. Oh, 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 oh. Sing my bride to be, I pray it's meant to be. I hope she'll say I do, because I'll say I do. I sing my bride to be, I hope it's meant to be. I hope she says I do, because I'll say I do. Whoa. I do, I do, I do. I hope she'll say I do, because I'll say I do. Whoa. I do. Hey, I do. I do. Hey, 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 why is she threatening to stop the wedding from going on? Please say something, Dad. No matter how bad you've been to her in the past, we cannot still go and beg her. Why did she call you Stephen? Is her name Stephen? Say something before my cat's wedding is stopped. Nobody born of a woman is stopping me from getting married today. Not after all the money I spent. Look at all the preparation. Are you kidding me? It's from Abney! What did she tell you? Did she tell you your daddy did something bad to her in the past? She only said Dad should tell me why I can't get married to her daughter. Well, nobody can stop me. Mom, today is my day. And it all started with you. Yes, if it wasn't for you, we could have been married before her arrival. But, but I, I didn't know your daddy did something bad to Mom, you. Mom, listen. That does not concern me now. I am getting married with or without you guys. As a matter of fact, I don't even want you parents of mine involved anymore. And I'm mother too. Tony, get up. Let's go get Yvonne and get the hell out of here. You can't marry her. What? 
Why? She's your elder sister. She's my first daughter. So you said you met Kamara in school. What happened next? Finish up your story. She was a fresh nursing student, and uh, um, we 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 had a one night romp, and uh, it was, resulted in pregnancy. One night romp. Yes. He gave me money too. I bought the pregnancy. And I refused. And then the next thing he did was to swear never to have anything to do with me if I ever give birth to you. Really? Yeah. As soon as he graduated, he disappeared into thin air. Because I'll say it's such a wonderful feeling when you finally find the one that's special. Why did you hide the truth from me? He told me my dad was African American who died in war as a Navy SEAL. Maybe I was trying to protect you. Mom, your protection has destroyed me. No, baby. You are not destroyed. You are not. We will go back to the United States. Both of us. And then everything will be fine. Trust me. Trust me. I need you to tell me something. Have you slept with him? I have seen my bright It's meant to be. I hope she'll say I do. She'll say I do. Because I'll say I do. Why are you chasing me around to me? It's not that serious. I was just trying to... Baby... Don't doubt. Don't do it. Just... It's just one more night to our wedding. Why do you want to spoil it now? We've waited all this while. We're almost married. Our wedding day is tomorrow. Don't forget I promised my mom. Okay? Why did you make such a promise? Well, it's a promise I made long ago. And it's just one day left. So, what's the big deal? Please. You made me promise, remember? 
Now I know why you made me do it. Because of your experience with me. I didn't sleep with him. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry. You destroyed my happiness. No, 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 don't say that. I'm so sorry. In fact, you're finished. Oh, oh, oh. So you changed your name from Stephen to Zach. Who knows so many other things you've changed? You are finished! I will poison you by myself! Mom, that's enough. Today's my wedding day. Don't spoil it for me. Are you high? It's already spoiled, my boy. Die. You got it all wrong, Tony. Nobody will stop me from getting married today. Except God takes my life. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, yeah. I have seen my bride to be. I pray it's meant to be. I hope she'll say I do. Because I'll say I do. I've seen my bride to be. I hope it's meant to be. I hope she says I do. Because I'll say I do. Whoa. I do. I do. I do. I hope she'll say I do. Because I'll say I do I do I do I hope she says I do Because I'll say I do It's such a wonderful feeling When you finally find the one That special one eh, The very one your heart accepted To tighten knot Is what is suspected eh, So you do everything in your power I know I've made a terrible mistake but for you to go ahead with this wedding is not only incestuous, but it's ostensibly crazy, insane. Hey bro, I know how embarrassing this is to you. Uh, I know how you must feel. No, you don't know how I feel. You have no idea. Tony, you don't know half of what I've been through. I must proceed with the wedding. I've spent money. I've spent time. My emotions. I must proceed with the wedding. I am an accountant. I know what it is to lose money. Is this about what you have spent? Dad, don't even get me upset. Don't even tell me that before I tell you something I'll regret. Go ahead. I'll take it. Blow your mind. Do you know how much I bought a bag of rice? Tony, do you know how much I bought a bag of rice? I am an accountant. I know what it is to lose money. In other words, I know the value of money. So what do you want me to do? But what's what? Any disappointment is a blessing. They refuse us to speak up. Fine. God has blessed us now with big dreams. So my sister, this is not Paul's thing. It is Paul taking. Please don't let the standards of this country. Tony, what are you telling me? What are you telling me? I bought two elephant-sized cows for this wedding. I'm not talking about the 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 the, the, the run for, for the barbecue. No, wait, 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 let me tell you. I am not talking about the money for this apartment, which is someone's annual salary in six figures. Better, Mecca, I am not going to allow you to marry your sister. I I'd rather die. Who, who, who the hell says I'm getting married to my sister? Who? Mecca, who? Yvonne is your sister. And who says I am getting married to Yvonne? Listen, at this point, I can get married to anybody. I don't care who. 
I could get married to a bread seller. I could get married to a granite seller. I could get married to a granite oil seller. I could even get married to your, your ex-girlfriend. Because if all this money, everything I have spent, becomes a waste, it got me we are. That is you come the money. Tony, go out there. Tell everyone who's ready to get married, anyone who's single, to single out so I can, I can make my choice. I have to go to ego. Ego. I have to find your ego. Tell me about it. In fact, I'm going to tell them myself. Listen, Emeka. 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 You need to calm down. Jesus Christ. Emeka. I have seen my bride to be. I pray it's meant to be. I hope she'll say I do. Because I'll say I do. Lady. I've seen my Lady. bride to be. Can I get your attention? I'm very sure you guys are aware of what's on ground, which means that the wedding between Emeka and Yvonne can no longer hold. Well, however, this wedding must proceed. By so saying, I mean that Emeka must be married today. Yes. Not to his sister, as earlier planned, but he has decided to take for himself an emergency drive. <coughs> As it is, the maker has decided to pick one of you beautiful ladies oh, as his bride. <laughs> you know, he cannot marry his sister. So, if you know you're single, if you know you're ready to be married today, then. See you later, and he'll make his choice. Right, ladies? Okay. We all say Oh, man, this is okay. Huh? I'm shocked as well. This kind of thing happens in the movies. I can't even believe it happened right. What the hell is wrong with you? Why would you bat in here like that? I'm so sorry. I just came to inform you guys of the latest development. What rubbish development will make you crash in here like a thief? Emeka is going ahead with the wedding, but not to Yvonne. What do you mean? I mean, all the girls have been asked to come out, so you could make a choice of a wife to get married to today, as in right now. Motion, and you need to take action to find solution. Hey, it appears so strange, but something must be arranged to make it work. It appears so Where are you going? Strange, of course I'm going out there. As the wedding planner and chief organizer of everything, I want to make sure that I will be the one to be picked as the maker's new bride. What? He must be joking. Joking. Let me see what I Am I married? Ability say marriage on the hundred. This is a one in a lifetime. I do, I do, I do. I've been so people married at me now. Till I old, great, die. Go win anyway. You should be here consoling me and not just enough to be the new bride. This is wicked. For you to even try to stop me is wicked. Emeka is your brother. I expected you to take off this your wedding dress and give it to me to wear. Do you want to marry your brother? Do you? Push me luck! Ha! decision in the wrong way. You can't get married like that. Mba, 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 dad, don't even tell me that. Mba! No! You made your own decision so many years ago and it is affecting me now. So I want to make my own decision now so that it can affect you. I have seen my bride to be a 
pray it's meant to be. I hope she'll say I do, because I'll say I do. I've seen my bride to be. I hope it's meant to be. I hope she says I do, because I'll say I do. I do. Hey, please, are you here? You can make all the friends you can. Miku, darling. Oh, hi, come in, come in. Come in, make yourself comfortable. Sit down if you, if you want. Come in. Please, can you move a little bit? Thank you. Thank you. Hello, ladies. Hi. Um, I know this is completely crazy. This is the biggest decision my whole life. And um, I know it's a big risk. But I have to do what I have to do. And I pray God helps me. Hey, you, the one behind you. You, yeah. Have I met you before? Sorry, sir, sorry. It's the organizer that said we should come here and clean the house. Me and my friend want to start going. What's your name? Njideka. Okay. Are you married? Um, no, she's not married, though. In fact, sir, we are Christians. We don't even have boyfriends. <laughs> ah, you don't have a boyfriend. Would you like to get married today? Okay, let me let me take that back. If I ask you to get married to me, would you get married to me? Okay. Perhaps you don't understand that, so let me just make you understand. Please marry me. <clears throat> what are you waiting for? Say yes. If you don't say yes to him, I'm going to say yes to him. Say yes. Will you marry me? Say yes. Say yes. Will you marry me? Please say yes. Accepted the tiny knot is what is suspected. 
So you do one thing in your power to make it work. Oh, yeah. You made up your mind to make her your bride. Yeah. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter for all the obstacles. Oh, very ready to fight the battles. Because you made up your mind to make her yours today. Oh, yeah. Feel free to take a swing at me. And if you're expecting that I'll be running around here in fear, that's not gonna happen. I have come to take what belongs to me and make sure you rot in jail for the rest of your miserable life. There will be no need for a fight, because life actually means nothing to me now. I mean, what else am I fighting for? Having lost a maker and richer to the cold hands of death in one day. I mean, what more can anyone do to me? Please, forgive me. Forgive us. Please, I beg you in the name of God, forgive me. Please. Indeed, I'm happy you're here, and uh, it simply means that I'm going to die in peace at Afro. I'm going to die in peace because right now I'm ready to sign off everything back to you. Take it all. It all belongs to you. Let me just die in peace. So, what about Grandma? She couldn't bear your loss. She, she couldn't bear your disappearance. and. She died a few months after your supposed death. Please tell me you're lying. Njideka, listen to me. I... I destroyed my family. Now that you're here, restore peace. <sighs> you know... I have been waiting for this day for so long. I have wondered and played over it in my head over and over again, wondering how it is going to happen. But God was ahead of me and fought my battle. Hmm. Emeka and Richard were the only siblings I had. May their soul rest in peace. But God has punished you for the evil that you did to me. As you can see, I am blessed. And as for the house, you can keep it. The companies, I will collect them. You will only receive benefits till you die. I will drop every charges I have against you. My lawyer will pick it up from there. For the meantime, you have a great thing. I will get all the documents ready for your signing. Thank you. It's such a wonderful feeling when you finally find the one, that special one. 
bed The very one your heart accepted The tide and out is what is suspected So you do one thing in your power to make it work oh, yeah. You made up your mind